Hey guys, Nikki here, and I am going to be going through my personal book collection tonight. This is my own personal. This is not, you know, my bookstore, which y'all be getting to see that video hopefully very soon. But I wanted to go through and do my own personal um, bookshelf at home because I know I talk about that all the time and how much I love books. And this is for those of you that love books, um, those that may be interested in uh, different things like that I collect, um, kind of like answering a question, I guess, about, you know, my own coll collection that I have. So I'm going to jump right into it and hopefully I can, depending on time, get it all done in one video <laughs> and Ryder, my little dog my child is here too so this might get very interesting because he's just had a nap and he's acting crazy so but i'm going to start with um my first shelf and i'll kind of show you a little bit this is going from the bottom to the top and up here i have my jr ward collection as you can see absolutely love J.R. Ward. She is my absolute favorite. As you can see, I have the Black Dagger Brotherhood series, um, the Black Dagger <coughs> Legacy. Would you hush? Apparently Ryder's got something to do. Stop! He's barking at the camera, so there's that. Stop! And then I've got classic stuff down here. Would you stop? I'm going to have to show it to him or he's going to just keep freaking out. See, it's fine. It's my little camera holder. It's fine. Oh, he's crazy acting. <laughs> but anyway, then I have like classic stuff here. I have a lot of different, you know, stuff that I collect. Kind of see the different things here. I've got stuff like the Old South. I like stuff to do with um, Civil War. And it's more like um, decorations. Like for my house, I have an idea that I'm going to do in it. And it's going to be some of the Civil War and stuff like that. Move some of these pictures of family. And down here on the bottom, I have... These are actually pretty cool. This is, um, which you could say they're damaged from being in storage. But these were bottles that were given to me when I went to an event in Cincinnati. And I actually won this one. This was, um, I can't remember if they done a drawing or something. But it's got all the authors that were there, signature on it. But I won that. But it is called, let's see. The Queen of the West Book Bash. And that's been, and that's probably been at least five or six years ago that I went to that. But that was really fun, really cool. But I've got the books right there from when I was in college. I did um, Diesel Technology, and that's those big books in the back. And I've got, uh, collect some Ford stuff, different things. You can see school books too, like psychology and things like that. And then, I'm going to move a little bit down to underneath my TV. I can get my little camera to sit still. I'll show you these. Turn it a little bit so you can see. These are actually awesome. I collect these too, but this is from... I got these in New Orleans. Take these out of the way. These are awesome. I love these things. This mask. So cool. Those are just decorative. Like, I do not wear those. I don't want to mess them up. And of course, being a writer, I love the little pins. It's got different things in here. Found a little bitty tiny. What you go on? Get out of the camera. 
I found this. This is so cool. It's a little bitty. Like a little bitty. <laughs> look at that. Okay, you don't need to look at it. Thank you. No, stop. Stop. Would you stop? But it's a little bitty casket. And Roger's like crazy. He's got to be into everything. He's truly like a child. I love the canters. Love these. They're awesome. But under here, oh, here's something. It's really cool. I'll show you. Check that out. No, stop. That is, if y'all watch Bates Motel on Netflix, this is the books that they made the old horror movies of. And this is what all that came from. I watched Bates Motel on Netflix and absolutely loved it. It was so good. Quit. Get down. So, this came in at, um... One of the places I was at with my bookstore, and I bought it, like, for, I think it was a little or nothing that I got it for, and this man came in, and he was like, oh my goodness, if you'll sell that, I want that. And I was like, oh no, 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 <laughs> this is going to my personal collection, thank you. <laughs> that one up. These two are really cool. Found this just the other day. Tammy Lynette. And then I found that one a while back. Loretta Lynn. I absolutely love Loretta Lynn. Down here on the bottom, as you can see, there's some, like, coffee table books. This side stuff that's cool in here. This is actually something that is really important to me. This used to be the Bible that I used. And it's, as you can see, <laughs> all coming apart. This was given to me, I think, when I was in seventh grade. Would you stop? Stop. I'm doing something. Yeah, now when I'm trying to do a video, he wants to play. But this, I believe, was given to me in seventh grade, maybe. And I've used it ever since. And I had several people tell me that, you know, you need to get a big one. Or like, you know, a better one. And that one's falling apart and blah, blah, blah. And I really didn't want to. And then here, maybe a year ago... My secret sister at church bought me another one. And I may show you that here in just a little bit. So I started using it because this one, it was, it's, I want to keep it. I want to save it. And it's falling apart. <clears throat> and then right here is my favorite book. This is Khalil Gibran, The Prophet. If you can ever get a chance to read that. Absolutely love that. I just got different things. In the back, I have um, Disney movies and stuff like that that are pretty cool. I'll show you this one right here. Bought this one recently. And that's actually a gift for somebody. This is cool. Look at this. They're little. How old this is. It's so cool. This is a 1973. So cute. I have another ones too. Because I absolutely love those. But I'll let you see. Back there in the back. Little old VHSs. Super cool. Yes, Ryder. Everybody hears you playing. Act in the fold. This one's cool. Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> I collect Winnie the Pooh. So. There's that. Oh, I love these. And this. These I got when I went to see J.R. Ward the first time. I won, like, a ticket drawn or something. And this is CDs of music that she would listen to when she was writing. So that's really cool. 
believe it or not, it's actually like gangster rap. It is so funny. She's hilarious. <laughs> She's like, by looking at her, you would never believe that she loves to get down to rap music and like, you know, thumping, coming in the fancy neighborhood and all that, but she does. It's pretty cool. Move up here to the next shelf. Let's see. Okay, I've got Ann Stewart. That's historical romance. She's really cool. Um, next set there is Janine Frost, and she's actually who inspired me to start writing my Darkness series. That is uh, the Night Hunter series, and it's really great if you've not read that. And Laura Adrian is great. She's also vampires. Writes about vampires. Then up top, you can see some of my Jack Skeleton stuff, because I love collecting that as well. Then I've got some Buffy books, and then my books right there. My little house I got given to me the other day <laughs> for the bookshelf. Then I've got, like, um, home remedies, all kinds of different stuff, stress, um, any kind of, like, self-help dealing with the mind and body and things like that. I like collecting that stuff. Come down a little bit, and this is cookbooks. Showed a little bit of those the other day in a video. Then I got some encyclopedias. Just some old stuff down here. And then, go to these in the hallway. Up top is just like some little tiny books. I'm actually going to see if I can set this down for a second. So you can see what I'm doing. I'll try to get where you can see me maybe a little bit this time. Yeah, kind of in, in the little dark hallway right now <laughs> in my apartment. But this is really cool. This is awesome. I know the video quality is like really terrible right now. But this is cool. I'm going to show you this. I think it's showing a, a date. I think the date page has been ripped out of this, which is so terrible. Somebody's wrote in the spine 1978. I don't know. This is, um, Works of Edgar Allan Poe, Volume 1. And as you can see, it's a little tiny book. And I love it. It's so cute. And it's got, like, so many different ones. It's got the raven. Of course, we all know the raven. But this is so cute. Love this. And this looks like it was, um, came out of Pow Valley High School Library. So this is, uh, was an actual school book. That's cool. From back in the day. <laughs> Let's see. Huh. Got a Patsy Klein 8 track. Stumbled across that. Kept it. It's awesome. Love Patsy Klein too. Favorite female singers. Definitely Loretta Lynn and Patsy Klein and Dolly Parton. Love them. Let's see. Move on down. These are like some classics. Um see what I got here. Like, I've got stuff from, you know, like, little, little old kids' books I'm keeping. Got a couple of little comic books that are extremely old I'm keeping. <clears throat> Excuse me. So many different things. Of course, I ain't got, excuse me, got time to show you everything. Oh, this book right here. This book I read probably, I don't even know like how many years ago now, at least 12, 15 years ago I read this. Michelle Rowan, Angel with Attitude, and I've read this book several times. It is so good. It's about um, a fallen angel, and she, she gets kicked out of heaven, and then uh, winds up falling in love with a demon who wants to be good. <laughs> so it's, it's, 
cool. It's uh, definitely my kind of stuff, you know, fiction, like paranormal type fantasy stuff. Really cool. Try that out too. If you're into that sort of thing. Let's see. Oh, found these the other day. And this is actually, these were in the stuff of a lady. Um, a friend of mine actually found this lady and she was like, she's got these books that she's wanting rid of. You know, do you want to buy them? And I was like, well, yeah, you know. So, and I go and we get to her house and I was like, I used to come here when I was little. You know, this, uh, the little old woman that used to live here that had passed away, me and my dad, when I was little, you know, would cut firewood and take to her. And these were her books. And I was like, this is, you know, a big sign to me that I'm exactly where I'm meant to be, you know, doing my bookstore and stuff. And it was just such a blessing. And then I found these in it and I thought it was so cool. But it was a couple of Patrick Swayze books. I love him. Love Roadhouse. So awesome. But I found those and that was just, they're like little treasures. I'm always like finding little treasures. And then you come on down to the next shelf and I've got poetry. All kinds of different stuff. A lot of stuff that I've not even read. Like I've not even read a quarter of the books that I own. Like people come in my bookstore and they're like, have you read, read all these? And I've seriously been asked that more than once. And I'm like, no, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> I love books, but I've definitely not had time to read, you know, thousands of them. But, okay, I guess that's the first thing people go to. I don't know. This is a 1965 Poems of Edgar Allan Poe. How cool that is. It's awesome. Kind of can't see it. The lot's reflecting on the protective paper. I think this was in a school library or something. Yep. Public Library of Cincinnati and Hamilton County. Don't know how in the world I've ended up with it, but okay. Books can travel. Long distances. Go down further. I'm going to show you these. If you can kind of see them. It's the poetry. And then right here's some paperbacks, like the little R.L. Stein Fear Street. Like, I used to read these when I was, like, a teenager, and I loved them. So, I found some recently, and I was like, oh, yay! So, I kept them. There's just all kinds of little things there. Come down to, got a bunch of, like, old classic kids books, little cute stuff. And this is my Winnie the Pooh section right here. I've got different, all kinds of different Winnie the Pooh books and stuff there. Like, really big books there on that bottom shelf. And come over to this one. Bottom shelf. Just This is like um, Tennessee stuff right here. That's Tennessee stuff. That right there is like overflow of Christian stuff, you know, from the this top shelf here. Stuff like that. Fix this back. I got Tigger. See? Collect Queen the Pooh stuff. So my friend gave me that and he actually works. Check this out. <laughs> Not really well, but it kind of works. And I just realized that yesterday because I like grabbed a hold of him and moved him. And he works and I was like, oh my God, he works. And I got so excited. <clears throat> Show you this right here. This... Is Jennifer Osborne, The Dawning of Scarlet. Check her out. I've met her, and she's super great. Check that one out. This one. All right, Tigger, chill out there. Man. Okay, he's going to take a nap. Vanessa Marie. This book is called Fabricating Jada. This book is awesome. I absolutely love this book. And I've met her as well, and she is great. She's very awesome. This book is about a woman who is making it in a man's world um, by, like, welding and stuff, working in a garage. And this girl that wrote it has actually worked in a garage before, and I was like, that is awesome. <laughs> we connected, like, awesome that day with that conversation. <clears throat> so check her out as well. That is Jennifer Osborne, and then Vanessa Marie, and then this 
Janie Mitchell, I met her as well, and this book is incredible. Like, I want to get the second one so bad, I've not had a chance yet to hop online and grab it. But this is actually based out of um, Dandridge. And after reading this book, I actually went to Dandridge to look at it. It's so incredible. So check her out as well. This right here, Means to an Ending by Matthew Young, is actually a local guy here in my hometown. So check that out as well. Love to support, um, especially independent authors. You know, I'm an independent, so check that out. Love to support them. And then, let me take you out of my little holder. <clears throat> and see if I can kind of show you. I've got more books in here. This is actually my little... I don't know what kind of collection this is. Don't you love these little bookends? These ladies. These are awesome. But anyway, I've got my Khalil Gibram. You know, just all kinds of different stuff right here. As you can see, I've got The Prophet again. Love that book. There's different stuff. And then the other lady. They're so cool. I just absolutely love those. But anyway, then I've got a shelf that is right above my bed here and this is what i'm reading right now jerry ward i've probably showed you that already in a different video it's taken me forever to read i don't get a lot of time that's my journal i write in every day just different things water for elephants that's a great book um absolutely love supernatural i've seen that book and freaked out bought it or it might have came across some that I got somewhere. I don't know. It's all kinds of different stuff. But I think that's all of them. For now. Anyway. But this has been Nikki. And this has been my book collection. And I hope that that was... Um, interesting for you book lovers anyway i love to look at people's books collections and i was looking at it yesterday and i was like i'm gonna get on here and do a video and show a little bit of my collection for you know my people that follow my bookstore people that uh, follow me as a writer and show you guys a little bit of what i collect because i have so much joy in books and i know there's a lot of you out there that do too so I hope that you enjoyed that, and I hope you're enjoying your night and your week, and I love you guys. I'll see you later.